These are the best Android emulators of 2023. But listen, only one of them is actually overall the best. So if you want the best Android emulator perfect for your PC, this video is just for you. Each Android emulator is unique in some way. So let's zoom in. Let's start with the Moo Moo Nebula. This is one of the best Android emulators for low-end PC. If you have a potato PC or laptop, you should try this out. This emulator is designed to run on a low-spec PC. Even if you have 1 GB RAM, it will run smoothly like butter. You don't need to turn on the virtualization. You can still run this Android emulator, so you got the point. This runs on almost any type of PC. This emulator is based on Android 7, which is pretty good because Android 7 is enough to play most of the Play Store apps. However, the only downside of this Android emulator is that this is running an Android 32-bit version, not the 64-bit. This is not actually a downside because if it was 64-bit, it won't run on a low-spec PC. So you have to understand that if you want to use this Android emulator, Next, we have Game Loop. This is actually the best emulator if you want to play games. This emulator is not for potato PCs, so you must have a minimum of 4 GB of RAM. If you love playing Play Store games and you have a medium setup without a graphics card, this emulator is made just for you. This emulator reminds me of my good old days, three years ago when I started this channel. I used to play Pub using Game Loop on my potato PC. Now, if I go to Task Manager, you can see my PC's performance. So, Game Loop is using only 10% of my CPU and 6 GB of my memory. So, to run Butter Smooth, you need 6 GB or 8 GB RAM. This emulator is also based on Android 7, I guess. Now, the final emulator, which is LD Player 9. This is an Android emulator, which is like really unique because it opens really fast. It feels smooth, snappy, and it runs on Android 9. Sadly, it doesn't have Vulkan support, but I think slowly the other Android emulators will also add the Vulkan support. So yeah, LD Player, in my opinion, is the best alternative for Bluestacks. If you absolutely hate Bluestacks, then I think LD Player is best for you. I'm going to be honest here. Even though the LD Player is good and is the best alternative for Bluestacks, but after the Bluestacks Android 11 update and the Vulkan support. So if you have a pretty decent PC with 8 to 16 gigabytes RAM and a graphics card, you just need to go for Bluestacks 5. Because Bluestacks after the Vulkan support just works so well. Also, you can play almost any game with any app on it. Having Vulkan support in the Android emulator means that it will use a lot more GPU and will use less CPU. So if you don't have a good GPU, then you need to go for either LD Player or Game Loop. So the conclusion is, if you have a potato PC, go for the Moo Moo Nebula. It's the best emulator for you. All right, if you have a like not good GPU, then go for the LD Player. Also, if you want to play games and have a mediocre PC, go for Game Loop. And last, if you have a high-end PC and you want to enjoy a full Android experience, <laughs> yeah, boy. I will suggest you to go for Bluestacks 5. So I think that's it. Hope you got some information. If you have any questions, you can always do the comment. I will see you in the next one. Bye.